Yo, what is going on guys, Digirex here, and today I'm coming at you with another armor set showcase, and today we are going to be looking at the Dragonfly Regalia armor for the Hunter. So if you guys didn't know, this is actually the set uh, from Eververse that you get with the Hunter, and I absolutely love this set. I think it is super dope, especially the uh, helmet and the cloak. Uh, I really like just please chest piece and everything like that let's uh let's take a look now obviously you get this uh this whole set right here uh it comes at 10 light unfortunately so you do have to infuse it up but it does come with random rolls and stuff like that so it's basically like regular armor except you get it at 10 light because it is an eververse item but uh i think this is definitely worth infusing i think they did a great job and out of all the test everest sets i honestly think that the hunter is the best one which is uh pretty damn cool uh, the Titans and the Warlock are both pretty good, but I just I just love the look of the Hunters for some reason. It almost reminds me of a uh, bug. Well, it's called Dragonfly. So let's start off with our helmet. Um, absolutely sick looking. I'm pretty sure the back is plain. You can never really see the back of hel Hunter helmets, so it doesn't really matter. But we've got these two little dibbles coming up here. And back. I love these clever little designs all over the armor, as you see. This just looks sick. I, I mean, I don't even know why it looks so sick. It's kind of just like a basic flat helmet, but it looks awesome. Um, super sick, in my opinion. I like that it's flat, no eye holes or anything. I tend to like the masks that don't have eye holes, like the Crucible one I also really like. I don't know why. For some reason, it's just, it's just kind of sick to me. Really like these, uh, really like these little designs, like I said. Shaders, some of the shaders look really good on it. Some of them just look kind of awkward. I don't like that I can't really to see the design with like ones like this, but stuff like this could be okay. Uh, it definitely looks really good without a shader. This whole set looks really nice without a shader in my opinion. Some of these shaders work pretty well though. So moving on to the gauntlets here. Uh, the gauntlets, I really like also normally you don't find me saying that about hunter gauntlets because in my opinion a lot of them are normally really similar but I really like these little uh, these shoulder cuffs we have right here they're kind of like little cups on your shoulder I feel like I could pour some drink some like water in it and drink out of it um, you've got these cool little spines almost protruding from the hunter's arm which is really dope and of course you have these cool straps honestly I really like these gauntlets compared to a lot of others a few of the shaders the shaders definitely look better on this i think because it doesn't really have those small little intricate lines that get cut out like that shader is pretty dope doesn't have those small little lines that get cut out with a lot of the shaders so yeah i definitely definitely do like these gauntlets moving on to our chest piece our chest piece continues the same kind of trend of the markings as the helmet has up here so this chest piece is really really nice um i do like the markings straight in the middle we've got cool little like almost looks like the start of shoulder pads like football football player shoulder pads just doesn't extend any further got these cool little i don't even know what they call these this this armor set is so weird but um it doesn't really have any formal chest piece it's kind of just like a sh shirt to be honest and some little armor taped over it as you see, we have the same sort of straps that match our uh, straps on our gauntlets. So, like I said, it carries the same theme through and a few shaders on this thing. Once again, don't love that it kind of, a lot, a lot of the good looking shaders kind of destroy the markings in the middle. Uh, like I said, similar to the helmet. Shaders don't look great on it, to be honest. It just looks so good in its uh, default color. And, uh... Next up, we got our uh, boots right here. We got a little holster like most hunters have. Obviously, continuing the trend of the straps. So we've got the little markings here. Little markings on our shin guards or something. And then we have this strapped on. Continuing the trend. And then we have a strap around each of the feet. A little hard to see down there just because the menu. Um, but yes, the straps do continue from the uh gauntlets and it's always nice to see and something on the chest piece that we couldn't really see before this is a nice little the markings continue down here 
all the way to here. And last but not least, the cloak goes really, really nice with the helmet in my opinion. Now we can't see the top part of the cloak, which we will go to in a second, but the back here has markings on it. It's almost like a little backpack. It's like a little sack on your back. I don't know how I feel about that. I think it is kind of cool. It's a little weird, but also kind of cool. It looks kind of cool at the same time. You normally can't see it because you have a weapon on your back unless you're rocking like a hand cannon or something like that. So you won't be able to really to notice this uh, in the field too much or even in the tower when you have a weapon on your back, uh, which is a shame because the markings on this look really cool and they do match the markings on the helmet. And I love how it is dragonfly wings. I think that's what this cloak was intended to be. It looks like two wings, one the right one here folded over the left one, which is absolutely sick. I wish we had a few more uh, cloaks that kind of looked like this or had like a theme because I really like that these kind of look like wings. Uh, they're definitely, they have to be designed to look like wings, right? And now we're going to go back up to the helmet so we can look at this. As you see, coming up from the sack, we have more markings on the uh, back of the helmet. And we have markings on the front of our cloak, back of our cloak, sorry, not front. And this looks absolutely sick. We have these coming around to meet up with our chest piece and then we have a lot of room in the back there, but I love the look of this. This little arch right here in the front absolutely looks awesome. Gotta dig it. So now the full set in a few different shaders. This shader doesn't look bad because it doesn't get rid of the markings on our uh, on our boy. I almost think this looks like the Dreaming City armor too, or it doesn't look like it, but I almost feel like this should have been the Dreaming City set. It honestly really matches that theme in my opinion. I don't know why. But uh, this is the Dreaming City Auto Rifle Tiger Spite, and it looks like it goes really well with it, to be honest. Yeah, see, I don't like this one as much, because you can't really see the markings. kind of destroys some of the detail of the armor. Good old calluses selected. This shader never fails me, and it does not here. That looks absolutely awesome. Also defines our wings a little bit more. It's just totally sick. This one's also pretty cool. I wish it didn't hurt the helmet as much. You can still see it on the chest a little bit, but... So guys, I think that is going to wrap up our video. Uh, this set is absolutely awesome. I hope you guys are lucky enough to receive it from Tess herself. Um, honestly, if you just play the game, you will get it. It's totally RNG. It's not like you can grind Crucible for the Crucible set or whatever. This is just totally RNG, so just keep playing the game. My helmet was the last piece I got, and I just got it this week, so that's why I'm making this video, because I really like this set. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this little armor overview. If you guys want to see more, leave in the description what set you guys want to see. Uh, I mostly have hunter sets right now just because I play my hunter the most. But let me guys know if you want to see any other sets in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more Overwatch and Destiny content for Honor coming soon also. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has been Digirex. Peace. Come around cause I never can leave it alone